Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Archers. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Sagittarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It is always an honor to have you here evolving with me. Definitely loving on yourself with me. All right. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you all as well for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you. I hear you. I appreciate you. Thank you, beautiful souls. It is always a pleasure, all right? And welcome back, Sagittarius, to the ones that are new here as well. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe. Be a part of the soul family. We would love to have you here. And be sure to set your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 zodiac signs and love live stream questions, all right? No further ado. Archers, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to dive straight into some tarot today and see who is in your energy and why, all right? The readings are general. Definitely take what here resonates for you, Sagittarius, and leave here on the table what does not. If you would love to book a personal reading, Sagittarius, my email details are down below in the description box. If you would love to email me to set up a personal reading, all right? No further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, Archers. Let's see who is this person that is in your energy and why, all right? What do we have for Sagittarius placements? What's the collective messages here for Sagittarius placements? In the Holy Spirit. What do we have for Sagittarius placements here? Wow, you got communication coming in, Sagittarius. It's going to be coming in very quickly. Uh, this could be coming in within the next day or two here. This could be from a fire sign like yourself. We got Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius energy here. It talks about quick movement, travel, news, speed. Okay, so you may have some news come in here very quickly. Yep, I feel like whatever this news here is, or whatever this communication that's coming towards you, you are aware of this with the high priestess here, all right? You already are aware or know that this person or information was coming towards you. What else? This person could be a Pisces, or they could be a Leo in Aries, or a Sagittarius like yourself for some reason. Why do we have the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? The Five of Cups in reverse. So someone is no longer hurt in the situation here. And they're now wanting to reach out to you. Yeah, this is someone that felt stuck here before. This could be an air sign or a water sign, even for some of you all. That could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or they could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius here with the Eight of Swords. The Magician, Sagittarius, you got your willpower back here. Why do we have the Five of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Swords? The magician. Oh. Someone wants to manifest you, Sagittarius. Yep. They're going to come in with an offer here. This could also be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Why do we have the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups? The King of Cups, oh, and the King of Pentacles. So there could have been a third party involved here, Sagittarius. 
okay, between an earth sign and a water sign for some of you all. Because someone at one time felt guilty for what they done here with the Five of Cups. We have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. Who are these energies here? Why do we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups? The World Card. Energies that you decided to move on from. Energies that you passed a karmic test you're with. So one of these energies could be an ex. And one of these energies is someone new. Someone still has feelings for you and is in love with you, Sagittarius. So what's... Let's see what this person wants to say, Sagittarius. What does this person here want to say to Sagis? Oh, shit. I'm packing my bags. I love everything about you, Sagittarius. I remember I mentioned earlier that somebody is in love with you and someone is trying to come back forward towards you. This could be an ex-spouse, an ex-partnership, someone that you were in relationship as in a commitment with, all right? This could be the mother or the father of your child or an ex-spouse here. But there's also someone that's in love here with you, Sagittarius. What else this person here wants to say? What else does this person want to say to Sagittarius? You always seem to get this card. Fuck that I'm fighting for you. Yeah, this is a situation where someone is definitely having a difficult time with letting you go. An ex here. And you moving on with someone new here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Yep, your ex here is wanting to apologize to you, communicate to you and tell you that they're sorry for whatever situation or circumstance here. And then you have someone new that you're connecting here with as well, Sagittarius, all right? So definitely a decision here needed to be made here because you got communication coming in very quickly here, Archers, all right? Wow, I'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here. Definitely if the message here gave you some clarity, confirmation for yourselves, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I definitely look forward to your next energy check-in, Sagittarius, all right? I wish you and this person the best. Choose wisely, Sagittarius, all right? Bye-bye.